Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm no cinema photographer, just a dude with a camera and a dude with a new Westie. Anyway, since I've made the leap over to the bay window Westie, and no longer have a roof rack on top of my split bus, I have to figure out how I'm going to mount my ARB awning so I can have my little room set up. Found these brackets from Go Westie. We're going to get these installed, so if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. Okay, there it is way up there. It's the six foot awning from ARB. Used it a few times. It's great. Mounted to a roof rack, but as you can see, I can't mount it up there because as soon as we pop the top, that's going to tilt the awning. So these have nice, strong rain gutters. I went online and discovered these great ones from Go Westy, which were out of stock. But I happened to just give them a call and they said they had them and they shipped them right over to me. I had them actually even before I had the bus. So we're going to go ahead and mount these brackets. I've seen online where you mount from that point all the way to this point. But that's for the eight foot awning. So we're going to go here to here, which is about 48 inches apart. And we're going to run a six foot awning. It's going to go from here back. Let's just get right to it. Like I said, GoWesty.com, they came out with these brackets. And on the instruction they have on the web, it says you have to drill those four holes and they give you a template. I found no template, but I see that it was already pre-drilled. It's going to make it nice easier and easy. So it's going to hang from the rain gutter, and then we're going to put a pilot hole and put a threaded insert and bolt it right to the body. And here's what I used on the previous one when I had it mounted to some Yakima bicycle rack poles. But like I said, I'm not going to be running a roof rack because I do have the pop-up roof and the days of the split window bus is gone. But I did like having the awning with a room set up so you can keep a bed, you can keep a chair in there. You know, it frees up a lot of space inside of the Westie. So... My idea is to be able to convert this over to my new bay window bus. These brackets are going to be sitting up nice and high, so it's going to be the perfect height, so my floors will be nice and flat when I zip in my room. Nice strong brackets, but they're too far apart. I've got to move them closer together. For the first step, I'm putting them into place and kind of locking down the nut, but not super tight because it does pull it away so you've got this bracket and you've got the main mount it's going to go on this drip rail and as I said with the six foot rack I've got to put the bracket for one side in the, on the center post as opposed to the rear post so we're hoping we have enough clearance to be able to do this Okay, that's good. Got all the clearance we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this off. Right here. And this is where we're gonna put our thread inserts. I've marked it off and gave it a little punch. And we are gonna just drill a hole. And we're gonna follow that hole up with a nice big fat hole. And with a couple of taps of the hammer, you get that insert a little tap and get it to lay flush in there. They supply the needed tool to go ahead and insert this threaded rivet. But since I already had the tool laying around, decided to just do it myself. Get the brackets in place. You just simply square everything up, tighten everything down. And 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a measurement from this edge to this edge and transfer it to that, to the other side of the awning. And I'm gonna put some studs into place so I could do this single-handedly. So far, that's it. Mounts are in. Now let's just see if I can get this up where it belongs, safely. Okay, now to get the top on by myself, I've gone ahead and just laid it into place on top of those brackets. Instead of sliding in nuts, I've slid in bolts. And my idea is to rest it against the door, hold it into place, get a bolt or two in there, and do the same with the back without dropping it. Stay tuned. Now that wasn't even half bad. I rested on the open door, slid it through, and I've put the lock nuts on loosely so I can come over here and do the other side. And this is great because I can just tighten it up from behind. I can put this awning on single-handedly. All right, there it is. The awning is installed. Let's check for clearance. We are good, and we are good. All right, on my next camp out, I'm gonna have to adjust it once I get the room into place, but that'll be as simple as getting in there, loosening the nuts, sliding it over an inch or two, whichever direction it needs to go. There you go. It's a Go Westy ARB awning mounts for 68 through 71 only bay window. So hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because there's so much I'm going to do to this, this sympathetic restoration of this 1969 VW Westie. Thanks for watching Filet TV. Ciao.